Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So we thought it would be so fun in celebration of Down Syndrome Awareness Month to do a little recap of Rosie then and now. So we started out and this is the day that I met Rosie for the first time and she has changed so much since this day. We thought it would be really fun to take a look back and see sort of where she started that initial day and where she's at now with our family and all the ways that she's changed and grown. It's been incredible to watch and we are so humbled to be a part of it and we wanted to share that with you guys today. When she first came home, she was four and a half years old and she very much seemed like a toddler baby. Um, that's just, you can see that in the footage, you can see it um, as she interacts with her siblings. Now obviously her size played a big role in that. She was uh, four and a half years old and she weighed I think 31 pounds and she wore a size 2T. Um, and she really needed like an 18 month in length for pants. She was very, very small. Um, and she was even smaller than our two year old Jonah at the time he was two when she came home. And so she was even smaller than him. She has grown so much. And it's funny because I don't know if you guys are like this, but like you don't always see it in the day to day, but when you go back and look at a photo, you're like, oh my gosh, that's crazy. Now Rosie just turned seven. Um, she wears a size 5T now in clothing. She has gone up the most, I would say, in shoes. When she came home, she was wearing baby-sized shoes. And now she still has small feet. She's still wearing like a size 6, 7, um, which is obviously very small for a 7-year-old. And she is probably more accurately about the size of a 4 to 5-year-old now. And again, so much of that has to do with genetics and things like that. Obviously, it's a combination of um, people with Down syndrome tend to have a little smaller stature, but what was really fun to me and looking back at that first video was first of all seeing the things that she used to say and what stuck and what didn't. So when she first came home, she started calling Shelby, our second oldest daughter, Bobby. For whatever reason, that was just her nickname was Bobby. And I can tell you that that has stuck. Rose it's been almost three years and Shelby still gets referred to as Bobby by many of us, which was really fun because Shelby never really had a nickname before that. Um, and so it was really neat that Rosie sort of came home and gave Shelby her nickname. So we still call Shelby Bobby. Um, Baba, if you guys remember, Baba is the Mandarin word for dad. And Rosie called Christopher, CR, my husband, Baba forever. And then that transformed into Bob. She just kind of like shortened it and just started calling him Bob. So people always thought that Ciara's name was Bob. It's not in fact Bob, um, but it's really funny. And now I would say that she call, she pretty much calls him dad most of the time. Occasionally she'll mix in a Bob or Baba, but most of the time it's dad. So that one did not stick around forever, which is kind of sad because we, we really liked that that shortening for um, for him. We really liked calling him Bob. The other thing I found really interesting was when she first came home, she uh, only would drink warm beverages, warm water, um, almost to the point where she wanted it, hot water, uh, because that was a very culturally normal thing. In China, they drink warm fluids. They're not super big on cold drinks. 
And so uh, she sort of obviously carried that home with her. That didn't hang around too long though. I feel like after a little bit, she got pretty used to, and we never forced it. We always let her have warm water if she wanted to, but when she would pick up other people's drinks and if we were at a restaurant or something like that, um, she got used to drinking things cold or with ice. Now, she is our least picky child when it comes to stuff like that. She will not be like, oh, this drink doesn't have ice, I need ice, or this drink is to this, I need that. She's our least picky child for sure. She's pretty much just like, sure, that looks good. Um, but you guys know if you've been watching our videos, she has a few things that she really, really loves. When she first came home, it was Pringles. She loved Pringles chips. The child is obsessed with Pringles. She loves Pringles. That's not something we ever keep or stock or buy in our house. We bought it for her on occasion as like a special treat, but it's not like, it's not like a regular food in our house. Um, so she sort of moved on from that. But as most of you know, if you've watched our channel for a while, her new love is fried chicken. The girl loves some fried chicken. She asks for it all the time. She just loves chicken. Um, she really loves Chick-fil-A. Um, and she likes the Chick-fil-A chicken nuggets. And then she loves Bojangles chicken, like bone, like a drumstick chicken. And in that first Meet Rosie video, I told the story about how she picked up a piece of lunch meat. And I don't think she'd ever seen a piece of lunch meat before. And she thought it was a napkin. And she used it to wash her face. Um, and I had completely forgotten about that till I went back and watched that video. I can tell you that she no longer uses lunch meat to wash her face. Um, she knows all of the uses for objects now and we don't usually have that kind of a problem, but it was really funny and one of my favorite Rosie stories. Also, one of the things I pointed out in that video was how she saw herself as a boss. Like immediately coming home, she saw herself as one of the big kids, somebody to like tell everybody else what to do and keep them in line. And I can tell you, nothing's changed. Rosie sees herself as the boss of everybody, um, sometimes including me. Uh, we have that sort of struggle, power struggle sometimes. She does not see herself as the boss of CR. She recognizes him as an authority figure, uh, but me, sometimes she gives me a little slack. Sometimes she's kind of like, oh, I don't really need to listen to you. And she waits for CR to come home and then he can tell her to do something and she'll do it like that. I tell her to do something and she's kind of like, eh. if she feels like it, she'll do it. If not, she's like, whatever. Um, so she definitely sees herself as a boss though with the other kids. Now she does fall in line with our older girls. Like she will mostly understand that like, oh, in her mind, right? There's like a hierarchy. Uh, I think all kids are that way, you know, the oldest and then on down the line. Um, Rosie has a healthy respect for the other kids, but definitely does not let people tell her what to do, push her around or anything like that when it comes to her siblings. She is very like, stand your ground. I don't want to do this. You can't tell me what to do. You're not my mom. Like that's kind of her attitude. Um, and when she first came home, her and Noah were like buddy, buddy, buddy. Like they palled around. He loved following and playing with her and she loved doing the same. I would say that they still like playing together, but definitely Rosie and Jonah have more buddied up now. Um, and they like to play together a lot. So she really, it really is kind of the three of them, Noah, Jonah, and Rosie. They can always be found like doing something together. Um, but Rosie also spends a lot of her time uh, with me and the babies. She really, really likes to be with the baby. She likes to help them. She likes to do what they're doing. Um, and I also think that she kind of likes the, that she's, she feels like the boss of the babies, telling them, no, don't touch that. Yes, do this. Here, have this. Like she likes to, um, be sort of mothering and very like, you know, she likes to take care of something or someone. And so I think she really likes to do that with the baby. So she will, you will often find her, the boys will be off doing something. It gets too rambunctious for her. And she's like, forget it, cut it. I'm out of here. And she'll come find me and the babies and just come hang out with us. And a lot of times that just looks like her sitting on the couch with a piece of paper and a pencil drawing or something like that while the babies play. She doesn't necessarily like want to be playing with them, but she wants to be observing them and keeping an eye on them like you would if you were a parent. Um, so that brings me to, she just knew like a couple of words in English. I, I really didn't know where, where we were gonna end up, where things were gonna end up with what she was gonna know, what she was gonna be able to say. Um, I just had no clue what to expect. But I can tell you guys, with 100% certainty that she has far exceeded um, any expectations. Sit up nice and tall, there we go. Okay. That she has far exceeded any expectations that we had of her. We tried not to have any, but uh, you sometimes can't help that. And she has just soared past anything that we thought might be a challenge or might be like a limiting thing for her. 
She has just blown us away with her smartness, mm. huh? Are you so crazy smart? Yes. Yes? Okay, sit up just a little bit here. Say hello. Hello. Say nice to meet you. Me too. Nice to meet you. Are you a little nervous? Mm. You don't need to be nervous. We're just here talking to the camera right there. Those are like our friends that we talk to sometimes when we talk on the camera. Right? Right. Okay. Look, can you show everyone up there your new glasses? Aren't they so nice? Right here is the camera. Can you show everyone One your second. glasses? Right there. One mm -hmm. Can you show everyone your glasses? Um, I... She got some new beautiful purple glasses because her pink ones broke. What color is your dress? Green. Is it green? Yes. What's the sign for green? Uh, green? Yes. What, what color is uh, your glasses? They're purple. No, you know it. What is orange? Orange. Orange? And yeah. Orange? Yes. Good. What's yellow? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, I like that. You see yellow over there? So Rosie has learned, she knows almost her entire alphabet. Like if you sit down and show her letters, she knows pretty much the entire alphabet. She knows the sounds that they make for the most part as well. Um, so I've just been so surprised. She knows colors and she's, she knows a lot of signs for these things as well. Uh, so I have just been so blown away and if you guys have seen I'll put a link um, We did a day in the life of Rosie video where you could see kind of her in action She pretty much can do all of these these things that our other children are doing as far as getting herself dressed Right, can you get yourself dressed? Yes. Can you brush your teeth? Yes. Can you brush your hair? Yeah. And can you find your shoes and put them on? Mm-hmm. Yes. And do you like to help with the babies? Yes. What are the baby's names? Look uh, right up here. What are the baby's names? Her name uh, Millie Moo. Millie Moo? Yeah, Millie Moo. Crying. Oh, she was crying? What about the other baby? What's her name? Uh, Chi Chi. Chi Chi. Chi Chi and Millie Moo? Yeah, Millie Moo crying about them. Do you love her? Yeah. Do you like to help take care of the babies? Yes. Are they so fun? Mm hmm. What's your favorite thing to do with the baby? Um, Eloise. Eloise? Yes. Oh, Eloise has a baby sister too, right? Why? Eloise was her best friend at... Yeah, I was going to... I'm a... I'm going to... Yeah? You, uh, lo you love Eloise? Yes. Okay. And Ava. And who? And Ava? Yes. Oh, Ava. Ava was her other friend at school too. Ava and Eloise. Yeah, they're your buddies? Yeah, me, go can stop it. Oh. Me, come out. Oh, sometimes you have to go to timeout? Yes. I know. We don't like timeout, do we? Do we? No. No. What? What's, what's your favorite food? Food. What do you like to eat? Uh, chicken, goldfish. Chicken? Chicken. Goldfish? Goldfish. What else? I love popcorn. Popcorn? Yes. Oh, she likes chicken, goldfish, and popcorn. What's your favorite movie to watch? Watch ballet. What? Ballet. Ballet. She loves the movie Leap with ballet. Yeah, Shelby does. Yeah, Shelby does ballet. You like? You want to do ballet too? On TV. On TV. She doesn't want to do ballet. She wants to watch it on TV. <laughs> Are Mom, you funny? No, I'll bet. Yeah. Give me ballet. I'll oh, I thought you were funny. Are you funny? Mm-hmm. Okay. Good. The other thing was in that first video I said how Rosie loved to collect little things and put them in bags and carry them around everywhere. That is 100% still her favorite thing to do. She doesn't eat, she doesn't really want like a whole bunch of toys or anything like that. She likes to collect little things. I don't even like, I mean like a magnet and a rock and a pen and like a paper clip and whatever. She puts them all in a little bag and she carries it around with her everywhere, huh? Why? Right. You like to have a little bag of stuff? Um, oh, food, Baba. Yeah. And then no me. Oh, sometimes Noah's mean. Yes. No, another baby. Just another baby pot. Oh, I'm sorry. My pot and pot and again. Did you have so much fun making this video with me? Yes. Did we make a video all about Rosie? Um. Well, Rosie, thank I you. Know. Thank you so much for making this video with me. Was yeah, it fun? Yes. Yeah, I'm so glad that you made this video with me. 
Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this little kind of then and now video with Rosie. I always think that it's incredible to see like sort of the powerful changes that take place when you go from living in an orphanage to living in a home with a family and that is where children belong they belong in homes no matter how amazing the orphanage is or amazing the care center is children belong in families where they can grow and flourish and we just think rosie is such a beautiful testimony to that um, how amazing kids can just grow and flourish within a family. So thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to our channel if you're not already. Next month is Adoption Aware Awareness Month and we have a whole series of videos planned all about adoption. If you have questions about adoption or you want to know, you're going to want to be back here next month for all of those videos. So be sure to subscribe if you haven't already and we'll see you guys again very soon, huh? Bye bye. Bye. Bye.